What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel as today we take a blast to the past and re-inspire an old Dead by Daylight classic build with impossible skill check Freddy. Now many years ago Freddy used to be a very good killer instead of the bottom tier guy he is today but we have a build to try and make him fun and strong. Taking skill checks and using them, hopefully, in our favor. Starting with Hex Huntress Lullaby. And every time we hook a survivor, the skill check warning will become shorter and shorter until we get five hooks, and then they will gain no skill check warning on skill checks. But on top of that, every time they miss a skill check, they will receive an additional 6% regression penalty to their healing or generator, whatever they might be working on at the time. Next, we have the new unknown perk, Undone. And anytime a survivor misses a skill check, we will gain three tokens up to a total of 30. And whenever we kick a generator, if we have any tokens, we lose them. But for each token, that generator loses 1% additional progress and then will be blocked for one second per gen, essentially treating it as a mini pop goes the weasel and deadlock in one perk. And then this will go on cooldown for 60 seconds. Followed by overcharge. An overcharge will activate whenever we kick a gen, working with undone. And the next time a survivor interacts with that gen, they will have a small skill check. But if they miss it, that skill check will give us an additional 4% loss of progress to the gen. Plus, once we kick a gen with overcharge, its regression speed will increase from 85% to 130% regression over the next 30 seconds. And finally, we have Oppression. Whenever we kick a gen, up to three other random gens on the map will also begin to regress. But if any of those random gens are currently being repaired by a survivor, they will get a difficult skill check. And then Oppression will go on a cooldown of 80 seconds. Now, I do love Pallet Freddy and I think he's more fun, but we're gonna use snares for this with the combination of the blue dress and the green dress, which are essentially just the same add-on but with different rarities. With both of them, we'll increase the healing and repair skill check penalties if they miss a skill check by 4% for a combined 8% penalty for each missed skill check. And then every time they miss a skill check, we will have an aura reveal for seven seconds with four from the blue dress and three from the green i think this is a super fun build it is super reliant on hex hunter's lullaby staying upright so hopefully we get a strong map with a good totem spawn and we can play this build to its strongest let's check it out and let's get to the games okay we're on the torment creek being sent here by one of the survivors uh hopefully our totem is in a good spot. It spawned cross map from us. What are the odds our totem gets destroyed before we can even get there? Okay, it's in a pretty obvious spot. We throw the snare, so hopefully by the time someone falls asleep, if they try and cleanse it, we'll be alerted. I did see a Kate here, right? Please don't have sprint burst. Yeah, please. Okay. Just. Okay. Quick down. We like that. Let's take her as far from our totem as possible. Okay, I was about to say, I refuse to believe that was one person on a gen. Which means the tap is unaccounted for. Good hit, good hit. We'll just uh, leave you here. I've got to take a guess that tap is on this gen. I would be wrong.
put overcharge on taps gen we find steve uh steve we don't want to run this tile steve we do not want to run this tile all right we saw kate in the kind of the dead zone so we'll go for her that was a pretty bad placement on my part they're both sitting here. Are they just gonna let uh, Michaela go stage two? Michaela does go stage two. Wow. Uh, we'll throw Kate here. Tap, what's good, my friend? Alright. Is he a he's awake? Oh. Well, that creates a problem. Alright, he's asleep now. But now he... Okay. We'll do that. I cannot believe that that was not a hit. Good stun. Alright, Tap's gonna go play Shaq. I don't wanna play Shaq. Blast mine! Fun for the whole family. Totem safe. He ran out of places to go, detective. Oh, this tap's a juicer. Mind game works. Yeah, Steve needs you to leave. Oh, we are just gaining stacks. Beautiful. Now, hopefully... Kate and Michaela fall asleep soon. We know that they're over on those two gens. We'll teleport over there. They were on these two gens. Now they're both gone. Tap goes Shaq. I know Michaela's killable. He's awake. I need to start paying more attention to these gamers' sleep states. Let's give that a kick. That is alive. Oh boy. And I think Tap takes the totem. Which is perfect timing, which, as much as I would have loved 
Uh, who put this fire barrel here? Bolt it back? You don't. Alright, now you're dead. Alright, now we we'll wait five seconds, because Tap popped a stiff dick. And you go down. You know, we got a lot of value out of Hunter's Lullaby while it was still standing, so I'll take that. We got up to, what, 18 stacks of Undone? It's a lot more than I was expecting at any point. Oh, this is still regressing. They never tried to come back to that. So what gen are they working? Oh, that's Steve over here. Let's go for him. I, I wanted Steve. I got, you know, I couldn't follow the blood and scratch marks, so we ended up a tap. DS? No, no DS. Uh, G, G's gamer. Steve has never been hooked. That's just setting in for me. Alright, let's find him. Let's find him. Oh, someone screamed. Yeah, bro, you don't have a hook. Ooh, quick and quiet. This was an eventful end. Um, you know, I'm gonna give Steve a chance. All right, Steve. If you, Kobe, you are free to go. One, two, he didn't get it, but respected him enough to give him the chance. And GG's. This has been the return of Skill Check Freddy. Now, this build probably works on Doctor, and this build probably works with Hex Undying. There's a lot of combinations you can choose. Find the one that's best for you. GG's.